Hey guys, it's your girl Nadia. Um, uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, my more about my nutritionist appointment and about the specialized diet. So okay, I had I went to the nutritionist four days ago, and I gotta say she's incredible. I love her. Um, I just feel like she just made me like I don't know made me feel like a person and it wasn't like you gotta do this you gotta do that this is this, not this, yeah 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 these are my expectations and like making you feel uncomfortable like some do and or saying like oh you have to be a specific weight or uh, you're overweight or this is not yada 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 i mean i learned so much from um that visit with the nutritionist it was amazing um from I think I told you guys in the last video from um, how much my skeleton and organs weigh to how much water weight I have to how much muscle is in each part of my body how much fat is in each part of my body what um how much each part of my body weighs and stuff whatever so um I want to say that uh, I definitely had expectations before before this visit I had expectations of about myself like oh I wanted to be like on the super like on yeah I wanted to be on the skinny side like the super skinny side you know what I'm saying and I was focused on a number and then when I wouldn't drop a number on the scale I'd be stressed out I'd be depressed I might cry I might throw in the towel I might give up but um after this nutritionist visit I definitely feel like I can do this like and I've never been more proud of myself and it's an amazing feeling like I don't know I never 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 felt this way before I never felt like I can do this I never felt like I'm gonna get <coughs> excuse me <coughs> all the time guys every video I think treat uh, coffee is gonna be my um, trademark but um any other time like I was saying I would have to be on a diet and then I get to a point where I'm just so fed up with the diet and I have to cheat and I have to do this and I have to do that whatever but um everything is pretty laid out for me i guess um i don't know what kind of diet this is but i th i'm pretty sure it's a low carb diet i'm pretty sure because i can only have um meats vegetables fruits um nuts and dairy but i don't know if i mentioned this in one of my videos but i have like a slight milk allergy so i have to be very selective with my dairy very 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 selective with my dairy if i'm gonna do it but um yeah and i can only eat um at 10 2 and 6 I can't eat before that uh can't eat after that and I have um she started me um with the not eating 30 minutes before you um, uh, not drinking excuse me excuse me <laughs> not drinking uh 30 minutes before your meals only eating for 20 minutes like spacing out and really, really chewing your food to like a liquid consistency where you can spit it through a straw and not drinking 30 minutes after, uh, until 30 minutes after your meal. So I thought it was going to be hard and <laughs> yeah, I was completely right. It is hard at this point. Like I'm like, it's only been four days and I'm like so emotional and at the drop of a dime, I feel like I can cry and usually like I am pretty much an emotional person, but usually it's not this bad guys. <laughs> Like, I never understood, how, like, when um people would cry at their diet because they couldn't have certain foods. Like, but I get it now. Like, I really, really get it. <coughs> it's, it gets hard for me um at nighttime because I only, like I said, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m. Those are the only eating times and it's that's it. And I'm eating exactly what she told me to eat. I'm not venturing out of there. I'm not doing anything like that. So that means no rice, no pasta, um, no bread. And I'm totally cool with that. And you know what the great thing about this is like I'm noticing that I used to eat so much. And really your body only needs so much food. Like you don't need to overdo it or underdo it, whatever. Your body knows exactly what you need. Your stomach is going to tell you. And I like the fact that like I want to say like once or twice like... Even though I ate like a very small amount, whatever, because I've been posting on all my social medias of what I've been eating like uh, every single day, whatever. Even though I'm only eating a small amount, I there's been like two or three times where I felt like super full and I didn't even finish the food that I had. So I'm like, yeah, I was really overindulging. So I'm like super grateful for this opportunity and I'm like ready. And guys, I started back the gym. It's been about four months. Um, 
The nutritionist also has me on a, um, a schedule, too, of how many days a week I'm supposed to be going to the gym, which is three, whatever. I picked three because before I was doing five and I was getting, like, super overwhelmed with it because I was going five days a week and I was going um for, like, two hours or more. And it was just, it was a lot. And I'm not going to lie, if I had to pick five days again, I would not be able to stick to it. And that's just what it is. Some people can go to the gym every single day. At one point I could, but it's just, it's really, really hard, guys. I'm not even going to lie. So I do my three days a week, one to two hours at the gym. <coughs> I went back on um, Saturday, which was great. I did an hour of cardio and like, I'm so happy and proud of myself that I did it. I didn't focus on the calories. And that's another thing I wanted to mention to you guys too, is like, um, it's not about the calories. It's not about the weight. It's about the health. And I that took me, I'm going to be 29 next month my whole entire life, like 21 years to realize that, um, it's not about the calories. It's, it's about your health and it's not about the number on the scale. Cause people look at the number on the scale and they, they start to go like completely nuts, whatever. So no, but that's what I have for you guys today. And I'm so excited to share with you guys and, uh, definitely subscribe and love you guys. I'll see you again soon.